in solid mechanics torsion is the twisting of an object due to an applied torque therefore it is expressed in newton meter a body such as a cylindrical rod or a structural beam is in torsion when one end is held stationary while the other end is rotated about its major axis in sections perpendicular to the torque axis the resultant shear stress in this section is perpendicular to the radius torsion also results when two ends of a body are twisted in opposite directions a body tends to resist being in torsion it will tend to snap back to its original condition when the torque is removed torsion bars which acts as springs in automobiles are also applications of torsion when torsion exceeds a body's ability to withstand it the body will shear or break structural beams gear shafts and other objects that may be subjected to torque must be designed to withstand the torsion that will be produced in them theoretically for solid or hollow circular shafts with constant wall thickness the torsion is calculated by the following equation here tau is the maximum shear stress at the outer surface jt is the torsion constant which is identical to the second moment of area r is the distance between the rotational axis and the outer surface when torsion is applied to a shaft the maximum shear stress is at a point where the radius is maximum which corresponds to the surface of the shaft high stresses at the surface may be compounded by stress concentration such as rough spots thus shafts for use in torsion are highly polished to a fine surface finish to reduce the maximum stress in the shaft and increase its service life torsionally loaded shafts are among the most commonly used structures in engineering for instance the drive shaft of a standard rear wheel drive automobile serves primarily to transmit torsion These shafts are almost always hollow and circular in cross section transmitting power from the transmission to the differential jo do joint at which a rotation is diverted it is important to be aware of the design methods for such structures because of their inherent usefulness shaft torsion are used in almost all rotating machinery when the car is operating at a constant speed not accelerating the torque on a shaft is directly related to its rotational speed and its power gear transmission are usually necessary to keep the engine speed in reasonable bounds now we move on to the design specifications of drive shaft the shaft has a uniform circular cross section the shaft is perfectly balanced at every cross section which means that its mass center must coincide with its geometric center the stress strain relationship for steel drive shafts is linear and elastic hence hooke's law is applicable the outer diameter should not exceed 100 mm due to space limitations each and every shaft has certain loading limitations which must not be exceeded for safe operation the torque transmission capability of drive shaft for small trucks and vans should be larger than 3500 newton meter and the natural bending frequency of the shaft should be higher than 6500 rpm to avoid whirling vibration assalam alaikum my name is mohammad anas siddiqui and i am currently studying in national university of science and technology pakistan navy engineering college as you can see we are standing inside the transport yard of pakistan navy national navy engineering college and today we are going to demonstrate a, a real life example of torsion applied in shaft as you know the torsion is applied in different shafts and rods of different machines So the example we have taken today is the drive shaft of a car. Drive shafts have a very significant role in the operation of a four-wheel differential drive system. This type of system is typically found on four-wheel drive pickups and older SUVs. This system provides much better traction than a two-wheel drive vehicle. These sort of vehicles are usually rear-wheel drive. the transmission hooks up directly to a transfer case from there one drive shaft turns the front axle and another turns the rear axle the front and rear axles each have an open differential when a four wheel drive is engaged the transfer case locks the front drive shaft 
to the rear drive shaft so each axle receives half of the torque coming from the engine which rotates the wheels. Okay, before we go and see the actual rotation of the shaft, I will give a brief description about the drive shaft and its role and transmission of the torque. An engine produces a lot of power, but all that power is useless if you don't use it to drive the vehicle. So our engine, actually, the drive shaft actually fulfills the role of connecting the engine to the wheels. The engine produces the power, it rotates the drive shaft, the drive shaft in turn rotates the wheels and the car moves. The main problem of uh, the, 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 the main problem we face is the breaking, snapping, or damaging of the drive shaft. Fortunately to us, the engineering around the world, the engineers around the world have come overcome that problem, and nowadays the drive shafts are so, so tough and strong that we really need to replace them. So now let's see and uh, what happens with drive shafts. Okay. Now we have uh, with us the, the mechanic of Pakistan Navy Engineering College, Mohammad Tahir Sahab. Assalamualaikum sir. Sir, is this car के बारे में कुछ specification मालूम करनी थी. इस गाड़ी का मॉडल नंबर क्या है? दो हजार पांच सौ नब्बे का तो हार भी है. आर पी एन कितने? आर पी एन कितने? दो सौ दो सौ है. चार हजार तक जाते हैं. चार हजार जाते हैं. कितना सिलेंडर? चार सिलेंडर है. चार सिलेंडर. तो सर प्लीज आप अगर ये जी स्टार्ट कर दें चलाएं हम इसको शार्प को इसकी डाइट कर दें जी डाइट शार्प देखने रियल फ्रेंड तो रियल फ्रेंड आप इसका इसमें ओके जी स्टार्ट इन द कार नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू एनलाइज द फ्रंट एंड रियर शार्प कार इज डाइट कर डाइट यूनिट की तो फंक्शन ऑफ शार्प में क्यों नहीं है as you can see, the engine is rotating the shaft, and the shaft is transmitting engine power to the wheel. And due to this phenomenon, the car starts to move. Now we are reversing the car, the shaft rotates in other direction and the wheel moves anti -gate. So we just saw a real life example of torsion in our daily life. Hope this video helps you understand torsion in a better way. And if you still don't get it, remember one thing. You can't do this to your enemy without torsion. Ah!